Good evening. I am Ronald Reagan speaking for General Electric. Tonight from Hollywood, it is my pleasure to appear in a story entitled The Dark, Dark Hours. Young James Dean, one of the bright new actors in Hollywood, appears with me, and Constance Ford plays my wife on the General Electric Theater. Yes? You the doctor? Yes. We had an accident here. Bring him in. That's a bullet wound. Where'd you get that? <laughs> From a gun, man. <laughs> Where are you going? To the phone. Well, it was like we were hunting, and like this little bunny. Yeah, sure, I set. know. You don't want to call no party. I'm sorry. I have to call the police. That's the law. Law? <laughs> we break those all the time, don't we, boy? Oh, I guess we've broken maybe a ten tonight. One more's not going to hurt, Doc. Look, boys, I don't know what you've done. You take out that bullet and stop talking. I'm not a surgeon. Well, fake it, Dad. What? Uh, but do the best you can. You dig me? Pick up on that man? Crazy. Huh? It's crazy, isn't it? We'd better get him to a hospital. Why? He's lost a lot of blood. He needs a transfusion. Well, well, give it to, give it to him. I don't have the you equipment. Can... Come on, help me get him to the car. What, are you crazy, Dad? Well, do you want him to die? I can't go to no hospital. You don't have to go. Just help me get him to the car. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, this just... Keep it cool, man. Just, just don't mess around. Well, now, look, if we're not in a... Turn off that radio. If we don't hurry, there's no use in going. It do? might be too late right now. Come on, man. Either help me or get Wait out of the minute. way. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You're getting me mixed up. Now, let's keep it Take cool. Take his feet. Cool. Cool. Take his feet. Hey, Pee -wee. Hey, man. Oh, man, don't goof on me now. Well, Pee Wee, you're not dead. What'd you kill him for? You killed him! You killed him! You killed him! Stop it! Sit down and I'm gonna yourself. kill you, both of you! You shouldn't have done that. Oh, 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 what am I gonna do? Come on, man, we're gonna cut out of here. We don't want to bother you, honest. We don't want to give us a half hour, I promise. Come on, man. We don't want to kill you, honest. We don't. Do we, man? Huh? Come on. You got to give us time to get away. Mommy! Oh, honey. It's all right, darling. I'll put you oh. back to bed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doc, she's going to get herself hurt. You know that. You'd better get out of here. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to listen to nobody. This is a gun, man. I'm a big man. Take a good look at it. I'm a big man. I want you to get out of this house, and I want you to get out right now. Look, Doc, you're a swinger. I can trust you, but you get them crusaders around. And how do I know that when I leave here, she's not going to pick up the phone? No, man, I need protection. And I'm going to tell you one thing. No one's going to look at me again like I'm a piece of dirt. Now, pick me. Huh? Gonna, right, leave her alone. I got the gun, not you. That's only a 32. That's not a very big bullet. I'm not going to hurt her, Doc. I just got to make sure. You gotta be lucky. And if you're lucky, very lucky, then you've killed another man. It's just me. alone, Doc. It's just alone. That's all. I'm gonna let her go, and you can pick her up in half an hour, huh? But if you're not lucky, that bullet isn't gonna stop me. No good, Doc. I want you to take your hands off my wife and get out of this house. Get out of the way. Sure. I'll get out of the way. But you're going out of here alone, Sonny. Don't you call me Sonny! Now you got five seconds to get out of the way. One. I'm telling you for the last time, if you go out of here, you're going out alone. Two. Let go of my mommy. It's all right, Susie. Everything's going to be all right. Three. Let go of my mommy. I'm not afraid what to you. Watch uh. I don't know whether to beat you or kill you. Oh, you. 
You never did get the idea, did you? Did you think for one minute that I was afraid of you? I did everything you asked because I wanted to get you out of here. I didn't want my family getting hurt by a vicious little pup like you. No, you had to be a big man with a gun. Well, your friend in there is dead because of you. How big does that make you feel? Hit me. Why don't you hit me? Because if I started, I don't think I could stop. Oh, no. Uh. Well, I hope you enjoyed James Dean and Constance Ford and the rest of us in the dark, dark hours.